Good morning. Our thought this morning comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I'm an old man and my wife is well on in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. From a human perspective, Zechariah's doubts are perfectly understandable, aren't they? He and his wife are getting on in years. So he rejects God's message. I don't know about you, but I think if I'd been visited by an angel, I might believe what the angel told me. Perhaps Zechariah had had often had visits from angels, I don't know. But Zechariah previously had always obeyed God. He was known as a righteous, God-fearing man. So why now does he disbelieve? I wonder if it was fear. Fear is a very powerful emotion. Sometimes we get bogged down in the realities of life. Even if we know Jesus, as Zechariah knew God, our circumstances cloud our vision. Our fear can become bigger than our trust in God. We forget who God is. We forget how great God is and we forget that nothing is impossible for God. On the days when fear tries to rob us of our hope or circumstances try to blind us um, to the promises of God, we need to walk by faith and not by sight. We need to walk by faith and not by feelings. It's on days like these that we have to trust what God says about himself. We have to trust that God will do all that he says he will do. There is no natural law that will prevent God from having his way. So if something is dragging you down today, look for the promises of God which tell you that God can and will overcome. As Betsy Ten Boom once said, there is no pit so deep that God's love is not deeper still. We can persevere because God has promised that we won't be destroyed. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, 8, we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Our God is mighty and all things are possible for him. Amen.